click on Kids Motion. There is already a theme open for you. I will show you how to change that later on. To start your animation, you can choose an image from iPhoto or your desktop. Drag and drop the image into the timeline at the bottom of the screen. You can delete and edit your images from here. Click on Edit. To change the name of the image, highlight the text. You can also rotate and resize your image here. Highlight the text to change the name. Click on the green tick to finish editing. Now you can add a video to your animation. Click on Videos. You can choose a video from your desktop. Drag and drop your video into the timeline. You can edit your video in the same way as the images. Highlight the text to change the name. And using the in and out buttons, you can choose a section of the video. Click on Music. Drag and drop your music into the iPod. Click on Settings. Here you can change the settings of a theme. You can change the composition title and the composition story by highlighting the text. The media timing scroll bar changes how long your media stays on screen. You can also change the sepia level. Now that you've added your images, videos and music, you can change the theme of your animation by clicking on Themes. In each theme, there are different settings to choose from. For example, here you can change the border colour. Add a torn effect. And change the border width. Finally, you can add a sepia or black and white effect to your media. Click on this button to see your animation full screen. Now that you've finished your animation, you can save it. After saving your animation, you can export it in several ways. Here we're using QuickTime. The animation is exporting. When your animation has finished exporting, Kids Motion will ask you, do you want to go to your video? Click yes. Now you can enjoy your animation.